Hey, hi guys, it's Marina again. Um, I, well, I wasn't sure how this was going to work out. This is just an A2 canvas and I've used a glue gun. I'm going to just go in closer um, to do a tree. So I've just put the glue in um, or put the glue onto the canvas. Um, whichever design you want. You can actually use a pencil to draw your line in, um, whatever design you want, with the glue gun, and then let it dry. So this is dry now, and I am going to just paint it. I don't have a primer. They say a primer or gesso. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm actually just, I've seen other artists doing it with um, just plain, um, acrylic paint so I'm going to put a layer of black paint and then let it dry overnight. Oh, I'm hoping you can see this but I'm actually just going to work straight out of the black I've got a black dollar paint I'm not watering it down with anything I'm just gonna to get a good coverage I'm going to just paint onto this because this is dry now so um, let's see how this goes. I'm actually quite excited about it. The ones that I've seen has been like metallics. So I'm not sure what sort of color I'm going to go for. But hopefully it turns out well. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the end result. Yeah, this could be quite tricky. Um, to, to get into all the grooves but all good um, I'll have to just go over it again and I definitely want this to dry um, overnight again so it's a bit of a process so in between these I do my other pores and or in between this one I should say and yeah if you've got time if not then you just do it when you can, I guess. This, there's no time limit to when you need to put the paint on. You just got to make sure that it's dry, that the glue is dry um, before you attempt to paint it. That is what I meant. Hope you can hear me. <laughs> um, yeah, so the rugby is on again. I thought it was on now. Um, and I realise it hasn't started yet, we got our times wrong. So I said, okay, I am going to do my first layer of paint on this so that tomorrow I can start getting creative. This is quite difficult to get in between all the crevices. You are welcome to speed up the video. Um, because this is quite boring. <laughs> I'm sure you've got better things to do than watch a beginner artist um, attempt to, to do a good job of painting this canvas with black paint, which she never uses. At least this is black. I think if you water it down, um, I know with the other black acry acrylic that I had from Heritage Paints, oh, I hated it because it was, um, I mustn't use that word, hate. Uh, it just annoyed me <laughs> because the minute I mixed medium into it, it went like this horrible brown colour. It really wasn't nice, but this looks a bit more black than the other black. Unless it's just because I hadn't mixed anything with it. Uh, that could be the reason. But um, so far, I'm quite happy with the blackness of this black acrylic from Dollar. So when I did the glue gun, okay, because it's the first time I ever used, um, I'll show you my glue gun, it's a small one, um, I just got it at Westpac, you can get them anywhere actually, and I got a pack of 10, play around with this one, this is my guinea pig, but so far, it's, I'm quite impressed, it's actually, I imagined it would look, look a lot worse, as I said, I'm a beginner and I've never, never worked with a glue gun in my life before. So I was quite impressed at how this came up. Oh, so what I was telling you about the glue gun is when you're working with it, 
you've got to keep it on the surface because the minute you lift it you get these strings um, which I sat for about five minutes pulling off about ten minutes um, trying to catch all these loose strings you don't actually notice it until it's dry and you see oh, okay that's not meant to be there it comes off very easily um, so yeah but just a little bit of patience I guess eh? and at least I had a bit of didn't bore you just by watching at least I could talk to you guys <laughs> Um, hope you had a super day so far. I've got to show you, this is the glue gun I'm using. It's really tiny. Um, okay, excuse my nails, but there's my hand. And you can see the size. I would have much preferred a larger glue gun to create the tree or actually anything. This has got um, a very small nozzle as well. So the bigger the glue gun, the bigger the glue <laughs> um, strips and the bigger the, the creation, the thicker the, the strip will be. Alrighty, thank you. Hey guys, so my second phase, I almost forgot that I was recording this, um, is I'm just using the metallic that I have, which is metallic craft paint and it's gold. And all I'm doing is pretty much just putting little dollops on. You could use a brush probably. And then just spreading it. Um, I'm going to have a few different colors so that there'll be a bit of a contrast. And um, I'm just literally doing that and breaking up the black. So, I mean, everyone's got their own way. Um, I'm just going to... Go with it like this and obviously I'm holding my camera with one hand now so once I'm done with this I will show you where I'm at and then continue thanks okay so that's the canvas covered um, I think you could use a sponge as well because getting into all those crevices um, I needed to press a little bit with the flat side of this brush to, to get into the crevices, but because I'm doing other colors, I'm not too worried about a complete um, coat, but there you go, see, oh, there's little bits of black sponge, but they come off quite easily, so I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any of that, I'm going to take a paper towel and just wipe over where there's small blotches and what have you, so I'm just wiping off the little bits of um, sponge. Okay, so that's what my brush looks like now, which I don't really like these sponge brushes. I use it once and that's it. <laughs> you can't even complete a painting because they're really fragile. But anyway, um, here we go. The first coat of gold is on. And this bottom section I'm going to be doing different colours on as well. So also not too worried, I just want the under coat to come through. Oh, sorry, the, the gold reflection to come through my other colours. Okay, I hope that that's going to work. <laughs> right, sorry about the movement. Okay, so just before, um, I thought I'd bring you close up to see the colours that I'm going to leave to dry overnight. So I'm going to fast here. Yeah. So here's where I'm saying I'm wanting it to look like there's light shining onto the water or from the sky. So this side I'm just brushing through a bit more silver over the gold and the blue. So that's the sort of colour that I'm getting. It's like a bronzy to a lighter colour. And then this side over here I've put the copper um, on the trunk but it started going a bit muddy over here you can see so I don't want that colour so I'm just going to let it dry I think I've got too much paint over paint and then I'm going to come back and play some more once it's dried so that's what it looks like so far I'm quite liking it okay so here's my tree On my wall um, it is dark out now so you can't really see the colors for what they are but um, yeah I've just mixed 
blues and turquoises and denim and silver, copper and gold. Um, yeah, I actually quite like it. <laughs>